Well, the sturgeon were swimming on the upper river lakes on opening day. We'll tell you how close we are to hitting a closure trigger in just a minute. As Justin Felder says, it was quite a different story, though, on Lake Winnebago. I'll be pet the fish again. <laughs> Waiting to pet a historic fish? Well, you had to wait a while. Opening day on Lake Winnebago last year, Spears snagged 283 sturgeon. This time, 39. Clarity is only maybe seven feet deep. You know, we're fishing about 14 feet of water. So that's not very good at all. This year between the ice and the poor water clarity is, is making for a slower start to the season. But that could improve. It's going to be a long season. I'm guessing we're going to have our full 16 days. Probably for the first time ever in the history of the fishery, the second weekend might be bigger than the first weekend. It was slow all across Lake Winnebago. A normally busy registration station in Stockbridge only saw three fish the entire day. These people ducked the cold inside Harbor Bar. Whose fish is it? When this 70 pound sturgeon showed up, well, it drew quite a crowd. Not until we got in here. I didn't think the fish would be so famous. <laughs> Less spearers contributed to the slow start on Lake Winnebago. Ice conditions keeping many away, but they say blood's thicker than water and family bonds seem to thicken ice as well. I trust Dad. He says it's safe, so <laughs> if he says it's safe, I guess I trust him. Because <laughs> my grandpa started doing this about 60 years ago, and you know, my dad and his brother and all of them started spearing and got us into it, and it's just a tradition, family tradition. 70.9. That tradition should be an extended one, at least on Lake Winnebago. In Stockbridge, Justin Felder, Fox 11 Sports.